Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to what may be the final episode of our Let's Play of Sid Meier's Civilization V as the Shoshone. And I say that because in 10 turns after this one, there will be a vote for world leader, and we may have all the city-states on our side. It'll depend on if anyone else, like, throws some big bribes over there. The AI can, but they're not, they're not set to be, like, max aggro when it comes to flipping city-states, so we might actually be okay. But they might start to respond to the threat of me winning the World Congress vote. We'll see. We shall see. There's going to be the World Fair, actually, because almost certainly that'll uh, go. Barbarians? Oh, that's really annoying. We got a mosque. We got a population boost. People making peace. We can build buildings. Uh, it's too late for tech at this point. We're going to go. We're going to go full money. Full money. Assigned delegates. So, um, embargo in Japan, I'm not, I don't really care about that. Uh, we will probably vote for the, uh, the World Fair. Whether it embargo Japan or not, it makes no difference to me whatsoever. So, uh, but the World Fair could be fun. We'll get an extra social policy. Cargo ship is done. We'll go and send it away. We'll have to build a new one, potentially. Uh, you finished, oh yeah, you finished the uranium. So you can probably go and hook up that one as well, actually. That's going to be totally okay. Next turn, we'll get the results of the vote. Then we'll get a countdown for the world leader thing. Grind, grind, grind. Think, think, think. Oh, it's so exciting. I think we're going to pull this off. A nice big area over here. All the city-states love me. Well, almost all of them. One is neutral and one is friendly. Everyone else is allied to me. Sydney seeks investors. Oh, sure, they'll do that now when I like already have them on my team. Um... <laughs> Goddamn barbarians. Like, are you seriously around right now? Is this seriously a thing? Um, I'm just going to automate you. I should really babysit you. World's Fair has passed. Japan has been embargoed. Uh, Valletta wants a great artist. And Sydney wants money. And we got 16 population. We spotted an enemy protecting Milan. Okay. We can get started on ironwork. You know what I'll do? Is up here... Uh suppose we'll let the factory finish, but then we'll do the iron work here because we've got a great engineer ready to go. It wouldn't hurt to have a production boost in the place that might be on the front. I don't know. I guess if we lose it, it becomes bad, but it's got a lot of passive resistances here. It's got, you know, the 100 base combat strength because of all the buildings. It's got a lot of hit points. I think it'll be able to hold out until the end of the game one way or another. Um, so you, oh, build me a factory probably, or just go directly to the bank. Actually, it doesn't really make a difference one way or another, but do build the factory just in case we miss out in the election. So... What are we behind? 74. And I've got enough. Um, I think I will do this sooner rather than later. Get a little bit of extra food, which will be good. And yeah, we'll hopefully we'll be able to squeeze out Bogota. I don't know. We get the number here. 10 turns. What do we need? Enough delegates, but what's the target? Based on our knowledge, our count approval stands at America will vote for itself. Korea. Our civilization controls 40 delegates. Yeah, everyone will vote for themselves, but delegates to win, 40. And we control 40? We're going to do this. Uh, unless the city state flips, so we just got to babysit it. And if we got the last one in there, we'd be able to ensure the victory as well. Uh, you just sit tight. We just need to make sure we keep making as much money as possible. So we can elect anyone else. We'll finish whatever we're building now, because why not? But then the cities will go to full money. We've been denounced. Okay. I think there might be a lot of that right now, because people know I'm about to win. The AI will respond to that. Ramsey made some peace. Uh, I have no interest in going to war right now. I want my trade fleet to keep going. Please and thank you. Ah, oh, Mogadishu just flipped. Whoa, okay. Um, we love the King Day just came through for lots of reasons. You finished your factory. Thank you very much. Just do... Oh, wait, World's Fair. Um, we really don't need the World's Fair. Like, literally, we don't need it. 
I don't need the extra policy. All I need is money right now. Uh, you got a promotion, so be better against ships. Since apparently they're buzzing around here. Come back over here. Just ought to wake up if something comes up. <gasps> we got our great merchant, finally. So we can send him somewhere and get influence. And ideally, that would be one of the people that flip. The problem is, where are they? Over there. Can we make it there on time? We got nine turns left. Oh, yes. Okay, good. I don't know if you have to be adjacent or whatever. Yeah, we'll try to send you there. I think that'll give us influence, plus it'll make us a bunch of money that we can then use to buy anyone else we need to. Salt, things, stuff. Everyone wants things. Okay. Um, we got a new unit. Oh, that... Yeah, we got a merchant from our city-state. That was very nice of them. And that completed a quest for Milan. And that completed a quest for Bogota, which is actually the missing link in our uh, in our set. Yeah, they were neutral. Now they're friendly. Good. Enemy unit spotted. Uh, yeah, there was a pirate, but it's gone. Mogadishu, which declares war. Okay. Okay. And what missions might they have? Uh... Let's click here to see better. We're very close to winning the faith battle over Mogadishu. And it's six turns left. I don't know if we can do anything to boost our faith anymore. I mean, I can put, like, faith focus on things, but I, I don't think that's a thing. Like, it should be gold focused. I mean, if I had the uh, the improvements in places... That might be the thing, I suppose. I could spend money to boost the faith, but I think that would make... I think that would be pretty stupid. Uh, so that's one. And then over here, what are we shy by? 34 only. And it's 22 turns is too long for the culture. Oh! But we should get the boost from here. Okay, so I'm not going to spend anything. I'm just going to... I'm just going to sit tight. Let things proceed. we got to be able to respond, like, on the final turn in case someone gets bought out. Just make sure we've got... A our words are backed with nuclear weapons. And you're hostile. Don't nuke me. God damn it, don't nuke me. <laughs> don't nuke me in the final turn of the game. Hanoi has flipped. Oh my god, Carthage is going there spending all their money now. Which is reasonable. I mean, I can't blame them for doing stuff like that. Especially if they're in war and they want an ally. Pocatello. Oh, that's me. <laughs> Completed the Manhattan Project. Uh, population. This. Carthage being a jerk ass. Um, my spies are just, yeah, just finish rigging the elections. That's going to be okay. Um, only 8%. Yeah, we can get the culture boost and the policy. Just make me money. That's all we need. That's how politics work. You just buy your way to victory. I mean, at this point, I think we could have uh, chosen a, maybe, we may have been able to pull through a science one. Especially if Korea wasn't being able to beeline it. We may have still needed to nuke them. Uh, world con Conquest may have been a possibility. But, you know, it wasn't really what we were lined up for. This was sort of our goal from the beginning. Do the Diplo thing. And it's working out. Wealth it up. Six hundred gold per turn. And in three turns we'll finish satellites. Uh, you stop because there's someone standing there, but that's okay. Just keep trying to move as quick, as close as possible, and then we'll figure out what happens afterwards. So yeah, I don't need to drop a big bribe on Mogadishu right now, because this guy will finish. And we'll try to save it until the very end. Not the very last turn, because I don't think it makes a difference. You being hostile is such a pain in the ass. Are you at war, though? Egypt. Alright, that'll have to do. Wow, we're getting airdrops going on. We rigged some elections. I'm not gonna move my, uh, my people. I'm just going to kind of leave them there, because there, I don't think there'll be enough time for anything to happen. Demand salt. It'd be really nice if we can get salt from her. Just stop being like that. Um, <laughs> 12 turns. It's not even going to make a difference one way or another, but let's go ahead and hook up the uranium anyway. Just because we can. Oh, yeah, and that's right. We lost a trade route that we could rebuild, but at this point... Actually, we can build those pretty quick, can't we? Cargo ship? Three turns? Sure. I think that'll be more than you'll get out of actually just uh, building wealth. Seven turns left. Okay. This will be the video. One way or another. Well, this will be the video where we get to the world leader election. Whether we actually get the world leader vote or not. 
we'll see. If he wants a great scientist. I don't think that's in the running, sorry. Seeks a natural wonder, well that's good. We're still hoping to do that. Battleship is done. Just wealth me up. And then... Hang out over here, I guess. Next turn. As long as no war breaks out, there won't be anything for us to do. We should just be able to go next turn, next turn, next turn, next turn. Spend all our money. Win. Ah, it'll be interesting to see what happens when the satellite triggers. Hey, Dido completed the Sydney Opera House, which I did remember seeing a while ago, and I was like, ah. Actually, we don't have the tech for it. That's right. It's something we could have gone for. Yeah, one way or another, I don't remember exactly. The Hubble Space Telescope is very cool, but it's the revealing the map that we were looking for. Hey, we found the Grand Mesa. So, five turns for the world leader. We want stuff. World Fair 51% complete. We got a new spy. The Grand Mesa. Where was it? Oh, there. Oh, I guess we could have discovered it sooner if we got open borders with uh, Carthage. So, nice, nice thing for them to have. Uh, you come in here. Thank you very much, John Rockefeller. Uh, right, I guess we don't need to explore anymore, so I will just move you... Um, I will move you to protect Kyoto in a very feeble way. So, an Egyptian stole the secrets of railroad. How far behind are you, Egypt? Rico wants a trade route. Uh, we'll wait one more turn. That, again, should trigger a lot of these happy face things because we did discover the, the uh, natural wonder. The very last one in the game. Do, do, do. Throw out the bribes. There we go. There you go. Now, we don't necessarily need all of them, but some of them just, you know, secures things more, which is nice. Um, cargo ship is done. Let's just go ahead and do research. Someone actually does want a trade route, though. Got the mosque. Who wants a trade route? Riga. Do we know how far ahead we are? Mm, no. But I think it's still... Ah, you conduct a trade mission. Give me 30... Uh, influence and a thousand bucks. Becoming an ally. Very nice. Can you reach Riga from where you are? You can. Good. So let's start that right away. Four turns to go. Only missing one ally. You know what? I should throw a bribe at them right now. There's no mission. 28. Could throw in a full, full thousand, but there's not much point. This leaves us a little bit more flexible. Because we'll probably lose... Oh my god, America. That is quite the invasion force. Who are you at war with right now? Japan, Egypt, Bogota. You're probably going after Egypt. Whew. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. So, like, excited and tense. Yeah, we'll keep the borders open. We're friendly with everyone. Only Dido hates us, and that's because she's an autocrat. Okay, more peace. Poland declared war on Japan. I love the fact that Poland is the instigator now. And, like, correctly recognizes that, hey, we're about the same size. Osaka is mine. I want vengeance for the beginning of the game. People who like shiny things the most. Dido's got a lot, but then, again, so do I now. Refrigeration. Uh, okay. Actually, the extra range for sea trade routes might be super handy. Nothing else is terribly relevant for us. Submarines are very cool, though. The AI usually can't deal with it. Brussels got a religion. Cancel the quest. Yay, trade route. Moved by piety. Nice! 40 free influence in Mogadishu. We really completely locked them in. Shun the inferior faith of other civilizations. Oh, yeah, because I was looking at that. And I'm like, oh, how do I increase my faith? Apparently, actually, one of the ways that I did it, so I was probably quite behind early on, but by allying all the uh, faith-based city-states, I probably got a bunch of extra faith, which allowed me to catch up and then surpass. No one cares that it was denounced by Carthage. No one should have cared to start off with, actually. There's that war. Peace. Peace with city-states. Barbarian encampment was discovered. Seriously? All right. Population. We can no longer be build mosques. Oh, look at that. Well, let's go back to cathedrals then. Cathedrals that we will never fill with art. Three more turns to go. Full alliance status. Let's see if we lose any. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Settle down. Oh, Korea declared war on Japan. Everyone's going for it. A friendly trade route was plundered. Um... No, I'm going to decline. 
I don't think it makes much of a difference. If she just asked me for oil outright as a threat, I probably would have accepted to stop any war from breaking out. Hanoi. Oh, someone flipped. It's always Hanoi. They're very Hanoiing. Nah. Wealth. Not that it makes a difference. We can adopt a new policy. So, again, if this was the one to, like, rig coups, it would be nice. I don't need the happiness. Or the faster great people, necessarily. So... Oh yeah, it does increase the uh, the capital gold output. I wonder how much of a difference it would have made if I grabbed that sooner. Let's let's do it now. So six seventy seven. Oh, it's like pathetic. It was a uh, it was an extra eight gold from unlocking that. Okay, good. I was gonna feel really bad if it turned out to be a whole lot, a whole lot. Uh, does anyone want to trade out? No. So just go to I don't know. Go back to Washington. It's fine. Brussels got a religion. Oh, first from Washington ended. It's not really a concern, though. I don't know. Let's go talk to them. Can we get that back? It'd be awfully nice if we could... No, we can't. Did you lose a tile or something? And why are you broke again? Bogota. Things, 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 things. Okay. You. Hanoi. Give a gift. I give you the gift of... Yeah, 35. Actually, you know, given the fact that it's being so competed over... Oh, god damn it. Lost in the list. I was going to say, I'm going to throw more money at it so I don't like lose it randomly in the last turn. We'll do that. Okay. I mean, Carthage has got the money to counter. Apparently, I have a spy that I could work on too. Sydney! I mean, I think I'm still going to have 40, but. Burr. Burr! Hanoi requesting units. World's Fair has got completed. Well, congratulations. Uh, make me a little bit extra wealth. Two people broke. Give a thousand. And, oh yeah, this is the extra money one. Give a thousand. There. Going into the last turn for the vote with full city-state support. Next turn. Or not. It's a lie. Caravel. Um, just go in the city and then fortify. We'll call you if we need you. Come on, baby. Sure. Okay. Well, actually, what I could do is potentially bribe people to vote for me. I forgot about that. Which I probably should have done beforehand. Assuming that's an option. I think it is. Still hoping Casimir just does. Hey, we've got a great writer. Probably got a mission for that. Um, close information research agreement. War, war, war. Uh, let's just see out of curiosity here. World Congress. Trade cannot be made when it's in session. Oh, and you need a diplomat in their capital. Right. That's right. I forgot about that. Uh, let's just. Oh, we'll do the political treaties now. Doesn't really make a difference. Assign! So we need... We have 42. You need 40 to win. So unless I misclick and click on someone else accidentally... I'm playing as a Shoshone, right? I think I got this, guys. Commit delegates. Bam. Next turn? Hey? Hey? Ramses has completed the Manhattan Project. Everyone's got nukes. Um, yes. Let's continue doing ivory. Don't distract me. I want to win. Go, 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 go. Move your petty units around. None of them matter. They're completely irrelevant. Because I have won diplomatically. Ah, so much fun. And what I liked about this one is it never felt like a backdoor win. At the lower difficulty, sometimes you're like, you kind of get stalled in the late ages, and you're like, I don't know how I'm going to win. Oh, I'll just throw money at diplomacy. But we kind of had this in mind from the beginning. I mean, you have to play a standard game in a lot of ways. But, you know, it was trying to work the uh, the city-states earlier and, I don't know, felt like a pretty legitimate win. And again, I think we could have gone for another victory type if uh, if for some reason this wasn't going to work out or we changed our mind partway through. But look at this. 
triumphed over your foes through the art of diplomacy. Your cunning and wisdom have earned you great friends and divided and sown confusion among your enemies. Mostly just Dido. Who in the end, right now, looks like she's friendly. Maybe that's because I won the vote. I have no idea. Um, forever will you be remembered as the leader who brought peace to a weary world. Demographics. We did have 100% approval for actually quite a bit of the game, which is pretty uncommon for me. It actually ended up being fourth in soldiers, and it's mostly because of some of the last-minute city-state gifts and maybe like building a battleship or something. Uh, obviously, like Carthage still did well for a lot of things. Gross natural pot, national product was quite high. We were making massive bank. Poland was, of course, in a pretty rough situation, although apparently uh, America had the lowest approval, but it was still at 93, which is pretty good. And Egypt had the worst population, probably because it lost its capital, of course. We uh, came into the rank of Augustus Caesar, and if we check the replay over here, which is always the highlight, uh, not the messages. Actually, the graphs can be pretty good, too. Uh, the score graph, who are we? So we're here. We actually did take a pretty good lead. And we're not at, like a lead, but a pretty good bump at one point. Probably when we got a whole bunch of city states on our side and just turned everything to money. And it just sort of like stockpiled over that. But again, you know, Carthage was like a powerhouse through most of the game. Uh, the Maya were actually a leader for a long time until they got destroyed by Carthage, uh, which was really surprising to see. Like they got eliminated from the game completely. I never even like met them properly. Um, and yeah, so I mean, it's pretty standard in the higher difficulties that you're not going to be leading in score most of the time, but by the end of it, I was pretty happy with how things were. Gold return, city connections, deals. Yeah, we kept that up pretty high. Building maintenance. <laughs> All right, we were at the top there. We were building the most amount of stuffs, apparently. Culture per turn. I mean, we were doing pretty well by the end of it, but there were definitely, actually from most of the game, we had pretty good culture as it turns out. I didn't think we were. Excess happiness. Well... We didn't spend too long in the negatives. The zero mark is probably somewhere around here. So there were some dips, but overall we stayed happy, which is definitely a lot better than how I normally do it. The food per turn, we spent a lot of time sort of middling there. In fact, a lot of this looks like we're at the bottom. Not dramatically so, but definitely at the bottom until the very end when we're probably building our hospitals and stuff. Uh, and actually, it's probably, yeah, see, that's like food boost. That's probably when our population jumped as well and our score went up. Gold per turn, very high by the end. Golden age turns. Yeah, this is never a useful graph. Improved tiles? Well, actually, we did have a fair amount of improved tiles. And military might. We were always, like, really crap in military. Only, I think, around here is probably when we were building our bombers for our war against Japan or something. Uh, which one of these is Japan? That's probably Poland. So Japan here, going down while we were going up. That's probably it. Like, they're going down as we're killing their units, and then our other units start to join the battlefield later on. But, you know, it was never our thing. Number of known techs? Definitely never a leader. We're behind most of the game. Again, very typical early on because the AI starts with extra text for free. So, you know, but yeah. Policies. Actually, that might be interesting to see. Hmm. All right. That's Egypt. I think Egypt and Carthage leading that. But what we really want to see is the map, of course. So we started here in our non-coastal capital city near the coast. And I have to say, I really, really enjoyed playing the Shoshone. Even if you take everything out of their equation, you take their, like, their early unit, which is amazing, their, their Pathfinder, that is a cool freaking unit. And you take away the Comanche uh, Rider, which is not a bad cavalry unit, but is never an important part of my strategy, generally speaking. Just leave me with the ability to grab massive territory by putting down a city. We got to take big advantage of it early on, but even late in the game, when uh, when this Polish city goes away and we settle here, we grab tons of tiles, even up here, because you can afford to settle relatively close to an AI, and normally you were not going to take advantage of most of the resources. You're like, oh, I'd really like that gold, but unless I literally settle like almost right on top of it, most likely the AI will, you know, just culture grab the tile or we'll um, purchase the tile or something like that. So um, so the fact that you've, you're going to get those tiles because your city will automatically grow towards resources, and even if it doesn't pick up everything you want, then that's still just less fewer tiles that you have to buy yourself. So it came out to be pretty good. Uh, that war against Japan did feel surplus. Sur oh my god, I'm so thirsty, I can't even talk. Surplus. Ah! I can't, I know the word. I, I literally just can't get the syllables to come out of my mouth. God damn it, I'm going to stop. Too French right now. Uh, it may have not been necessary, but it, at the other hand, it may have, like Japan may have declared war on us um, and made another kind of push, like if we hadn't pulled through, and it was risky. I mean, we did waste a couple episodes on it, quote unquote waste, and I'm not convinced we needed the last two cities, but it felt damn good to do. I'm pretty sure we could have just turtled and still done it, 
but it somehow felt better this way. I don't know. It also really in, uh, made it a lot harder for Japan to compete for uh, the city-states because they just didn't have the resources either. So anyway, that was fun. Right from the beginning, I mean, the whole thing with Poland like being destroyed and then we brought it back to life felt pretty damn good. And it's a good thing that Japan never, like if we had let them keep Warsaw, we probably would have lost. You see how much of a beast Japan is at war. If they had claimed and kept Warsaw, we would have been... We, it, that, that's it, like, GG. They would have been able to snowball and just wreck us with unbelievable military force. Well, that's not entirely true. We probably would have spent more resources building up a defensive line over here, for example. Um, it's actually, I'm quite happy that the war against Poland actually went so well and that we were able to grab this city. Uh, Woods never became a powerhouse, but positionally it was really important because I think, again, the AI would have come in there or when Japan came in, it probably would have steamrolled a lot of stuff and just generally been really dangerous. So a lot of things I think went well, but we made some pretty solid decisions. This was my first, this is actually my first game I think I've, I've played and or maybe finished at least or won on Immortal. Definitely the first one we made a video for. And uh, I feel pretty confident about it. I don't think we're going to make the jump up to Deity quite yet. We need to maybe win on... Well, I'm playing Deity in the game. I'm playing with Marbazir right now. But of course, I, that's with Marbazir's help. Uh, independently, I'm going to need another couple of wins on Immortal under my belt before I feel comfortable making the jump. Especially with different victory conditions and also different nations. The Shoni are definitely very, very potent. Uh, because, like, just the Pathfinder by itself would be super strong, or just the City Growth bonus by itself would be super strong. Having them both there is amazing. Uh, so, they're very, very, very strong uh, Civ, and I suspect that for my next game in Immortal, I'll probably play a relatively strong Civ as well. If you want to make a, a suggestion in the comments down below, please, please do. Um, it'd be interesting going back to something that I might have played earlier, uh, you know, like knowing more like, oh, let's abuse Korea or something like that. But part of me is thinking like maybe playing as Poland, which I haven't done yet. And I know they're very strong. They get a free social policy every time they go up an era. And that by itself is extraordinarily potent. Um, and, uh, maybe, maybe we'll do the, the stereotypical Poland into space thing playing on the, uh, the Poland ball meme. I believe someone else did a video based around that theme, but, um, that doesn't mean we couldn't do it either. Anyway, gonna wrap it up here. See you next time, folks. And as always, thank you very, very much for watching. Bye-bye.